Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are in the city of Canalville where we are going to be working on a pier and waterfront area expansion for our new island. I'm actually super excited about it. We're going to be using some new assets and it's going to be really fun. We uh, There's a new asset on the Steam Workshop by the same creator who made the big parking lots and I am just so thrilled to be using them. I think they are definitely some of the best assets I've seen in a little while. But first let's jump into what we did last episode. Alright, and so on the last episode we built out these awesome islands right here and I gotta say these are fantastic I love doing the setbacks here I think this just looks really good and our fishing industry is booming we're making about ten thousand dollars a week now and and we're just doing really good I love that we got the train act tram access in here too and then um, I had gotten a suggestion about our bike paths being a little too tall and so I just want to drop these down real quick because I didn't even really think about it when I was building I was having some issues with these and so I kind of just made them as tall as possible so that should be a little little more realistic there rather than having to climb up a mountain and so now what we're going to be doing is working on this area and I'm actually super excited about it initially I was going to put the nature reserve on this side but then after playing around with the zoo and the whole pier idea I was like you know this is just going to work out so much better so what I'm going to do is go into trees increase my brush size and we are going to get rid of all of this and I actually came up with a little backstory for this area too so we recently renamed the airport Duport Memorial Airport and it's actually after a real estate mogul in the city Frank Duport and his family they've been in involved in uh, Canalville since the beginning. They were kind of silent investors in a lot of instances. And it wasn't until Frank's passing that his daughter, Allie Duport, has stepped forward and decided to make the name more prominent. And they're actually the ones who purchased this island. The Duport Foundation um, purchased this entire peninsula. And after doing a ton of traveling and kind of seeing some piers and waterfronts in other cities, Allie Duport has decided that she wants to put Canalville on the map in terms of waterfront areas. And so uh, she has drafted up a whole idea here. And, and I think it's gonna be really exciting. And so the city has decided to fully back her plan and we are just going to get to town and so the first thing we need to do other than take away the trees is look at our our terrain heights here so we need to have enough space on our waterfront to have some residential zoning um, as well as some islands because I think we're going to extend our canals over here as well so I think if we have this come down we're going to have a road follow this and then swoop down here and we're going to put the zoo on top of this and I have been playing around with a few zoo ideas and I think it's it's gonna be really cool. I, I don't really do parks that often and so um, I really wanted it to be good. And so I think that's probably good right there. Now we need to jump into our fantastic new key walls. So we're actually in the roads toolbar and if you go over to water structures, you will see big keys modern pedestrian key and these keys are a little bit different from the standard keys they're actually a, a road and so they function the same way as a road whenever you're using your terrain tool and I think it is just great like you can't shift the terrain below it because I think that is just one of the biggest shortcomings with our current key system is that the game allows you to lower the terrain below the key wall which makes no sense um, and that's why we have a lot of our clipping issues and stuff like that whenever building keys and so what I'm gonna do is have the key extend out from here and then I'm gonna going to curve it all the way around and then I think we're going to do a couple outlets and then we're going to have three islands out here and then we're going to have the pier branch off from the middle island so I'm going to go ahead and draw that key system real quick all right and so I decided to do canals back here as well I was kind of drawing this out and I was like you know why don't we just continue it on and I think we're going to do a big residential area with a harbor in here or a marina I mean um, we don't have any private marinas and I'd gotten a comment talking about it and it's so funny when I first started I wanted to get more marinas and, and this is like the closest thing we have to marina we just don't have any a uh, private marina so nobody who owns boats in this area would be able to really park their boat at all right now this would just be really crazy they would have to hold the boat like out of water or just in another area um especially since private marinas are in huge demand in a lot of areas and so now what we're gonna do is grab a four unit road and come up over here and you know what i think we're gonna do tram road because we have tram access and we want to keep that tram access we're gonna do this tram and bike since uh we want to also encourage biking and i think we're gonna come off like right here and then let's go ahead and jump into the network multi-tool create circle mode and go ahead and hit it and then enter turn that back into a circle and then let's curve this down so i think we're going to come up like right here curve it like that and then begin to turn it and i want it to be like right on the edge of that cliff perfect nice 
And so what I'm thinking is we will have access up here going across a bridge onto the island. I think it's going to be really great. Now what we're going to do is figure out a good crossing point. And actually let's um let's move on to the pier first because we need to figure out where the pier is going to be. So I think we will come in here and delete this weirdly shaped little bout right there. And then let's jump back in here and go to our water structures and go to this boardwalk. Big piers, the boardwalk. And again, if you guys want to check these out, they're just awesome assets. And so what I'm thinking is we want to to be wide enough to fit. I think we're going to do the Ferris wheel at the end. We haven't had the Ferris wheel in this city and I think it's a great asset for this and it's kind of a bigger building. So let's, um, so it's actually not that wide. I think we could definitely get away with it. And so we are going to come out like right here and we'll come out like that far. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. I think that's going to be great. And then that way we can come this way. We'll go 25 and then we will come back. I think it's going to be fantastic. And so we're going to go ahead and raise it up. And then we're going to jump into the network multi-tool, go to slope mode and voila. So there is our lovely pier to get with. And one of the best parts about this is it's just like the key wall where it acts like a road, but when you flip it around, it actually has stilts. So it looks like it's just floating above water. The ground's kind of tucked back in there. And I think it is just such a fun feature because you can get zoning on it too. So you could literally just zone right on your boardwalk. I think it is just so great. And so now what I want to do is add in one little viewing hole in here. Not a big one, just a big enough one so that if anybody wants to see any like sea lions or anything down below, they'd be able to. And there we go. And then all we have to do now is make sure that it's facing the right direction and it is nice. And so let's go ahead and level this out. Now we're going to grab our train right there and just basically go all the way across. And then we will come back in here, right click right there and then dig out our little hole. And there we go. And it's kind of funny. I was playing around with the key while I was flooding. I think doing these curved edges makes it look a little better. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to curve these ones as well. I think it's just going to look a lot better. Perfect. Nice. I think that looks really good. And so one of the cool things with the boardwalk is that it actually connects up to this other key wall. So now what we can do is grab this and we're going to come up here and let's go like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side, go like that. And then what I'm going to do is just shift this up a little bit so that we can get that a little more consistent. Yeah, there we go. And then we will flip this around. You know what? That actually looks pretty good. And so we will come up here. Let's go ahead and move this all the way to the back. And because it's on a pier, they would probably have to just drive this so far into the ground because of how big it is but I think it's just such a cool thing to have on up here so now what I want to do is figure out some parking and then our whole little fairground area so I think what we're going to do is go in here and let's paint this all as a park area I think we're even going to go farther down this way too so we'll come down here now what we can do is figure out our road in so I would like to get some ferry access back here um, I'm thinking maybe let's see if we can place one ferry stop in here maybe we'll We'll just do it on the front because then we don't really have to worry about it in the back and I mean you know we'll do one right here I think this is a great location and one of the cool things with having that right there too is anybody who takes the ferry over um, can literally just walk into the theme park now which I think is just great all right so I think that's pretty good I went ahead and removed the road just because there is road access on this key wall and it looks pretty good I think it looks great and so now let's go ahead and figure out now that we know that we really don't need ferry access back here if we will have the road just come in because I would like to do a bridge. I think the bridge would look great. So let's go ahead and see how a bridge will look because I want this to be right here in the middle. All right, so I think that's actually going to work out pretty good. I went ahead and just drew in this road and then my goal is to put the entrance right there. And so people will still have access into here, but what I'm hoping is that most of the rides will actually still be limited. Yeah, you know what? That looks really good. I actually think we're going to smoothen this out just a little bit. Nice. And so now we have a nice little bridge with this road underneath. I really like the look of this. And so um, because the amusement parks are both owned by the same company, I'm just going to imagine that this is like one of the entrances over here and this, you know, they're trying to get people to go to the zoo and also to the amusement park. And so now we do need to do some parking down here. I think we're going to do some parking garages. Um, so I think we will jump into a one unit road and we are going to figure out a road layout here. So I think we're going to go sideways, go both ways, and then let's plop down our main gate right here. So let's come in here and we don't have 
any amusement park assets. So it's going to take a little while for us to unlock everything. But hey, there you go. So we got the, all the little shops. We got the game booth, which is fantastic. Carousel, amusement park cafe, and the plaza, which are just great. And so I want to go ahead and put that like right there. All right. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and design out a road layout real quick. I'm going to jump in here, go into trams, go to our regular two unit, two lane tram road. And we're going to connect it off of this road. And I want this to stay in the middle of the key as best we can and so the goal for me is to do something similar to what we did over here with the one unit roads i really want to get that setback look i think it just looks fantastic and i really like it in these settings and so now we will come up over here and follow the key wall all the way down if we can it looks like we're just going to bring this back then i'm going to draw this all the way down and there we go so now we have that going all the way around let's go ahead and hook up tram access to that road and we'll go like that and let's go ahead and turn these back on just in case. All right, so now what I'm thinking is we are going to turn that into a tram road and I have this lovely one with cobblestones that I think just looks fantastic. And so we'll go all the way around and this is gonna be a little bit tricky, but because it's a one way, it's going to help out this area quite a bit. Nice, I think that actually looks pretty good. And so now let's go in here, go to slope mode, grab these and try to go all the way around if we can and voila leveled it all out and so when you do need to make sure that these are facing the right direction it looks like that one's a little off and so that i think that looks pretty good i do want to create a couple little inlets for this though so we're going to jump back into a one unit road and what i mean by inlets is just crossovers so we're going to go like this I think this looks pretty good and i do want to do some green space back here too i don't want to just get crazy with them um, buildings and so now let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do with this one so we do know that we're going to have fury access you know what so i think we can actually just do a road across even though joe fairy is probably going to be pretty upset for us um, neglecting his fairy access. I think fairies can get in on the other side, so I'm not too worried about them getting in from this direction. All right, so what we're going to do is grab our tram road, and we are going to go to unmodded, and we're going to come all the way across. We're going to go like that. Yeah, nice. I think that looks pretty good. And then we're going to follow that same kind of pattern we got going on on the other side. We're going to go like that, and then we're going to jump into a one unit road and do that same tram road all the way around. All right, and there we go. I think this looks pretty good. It does look like this is just a little a little bit off. I want to clean this up just a smidge. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. And so now let's go ahead and connect this up. So two lane road. Yeah, we'll go like this. Perfect. Let's go ahead and curve it into just because we can. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and do a couple crossovers and voila. Nothing too crazy, but looks good. I think it actually looks great. I do wish that this one was a little bit better rather than that curve. That's kind of bothering me a little bit. And so now what I want to do is start focusing on our piers so that we can get this leveled up while we build out the rest. So let's go ahead and jump in here and we need to do some paths in. So let's go over here and we are going to do a sideways path like that. And then what I would like to do is have the plaza literally be the first thing that you see. Because a lot of times whenever you go into amusement parks, um, right when you go in is just like a main street of some kind. Sometimes they're really elaborate, like, you know, a Disney park or something. All right. And so now let's go over to see what we have. So we have the cafe, which I think would just be great. Let's go ahead and look at that building. Yeah, I mean, you know, that actually looks really nice. So let's put the souvenir shop right next to it. I think that looks great too. And then maybe we could even fit the restroom. Now we'll do the restroom over here and then Let's go ahead and do our arcade over here too. Yeah, nice. I think that looks fantastic. I think we're going to fill in the rest of this with the little decals real quick. Yeah, I think that'll look good. So I'm just going to jump in here and take our little amusement park decals and fill in the rest of this space real quick. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks fantastic. I really like the look of that. It's a nice little entrance. And so let's see what rides we have. I think we got a couple. So I think, what was it? Just the carousel? Yes, we got the carousel. Maybe we'll put the carousel right here. Yeah, I think that would be good. Let's go, go ahead and see if we can shift that forward just a smidge or even shift these back a smidge. Yeah, I think we can do that. We'll go like that. And there we go. So that actually looks pretty good. And then I think I'm going to fill in the rest of the space with some more of these tiles real quick since we shifted that back and voila i think that looks good i decided to do a little bit of a tiered effect on either side just to create a little more uh, interest in there and so let's see if we have anything else i don't think we do at the moment i think the carousel and all that's really only things we get so we definitely need to get to level two so i'm gonna go ahead and do some water pipes for this whole area real quick and voila 
I think that looks pretty good. And so now we can unpause it and let's do some services because this these are islands and they have limited access. I think we're gonna do another road over here though. Um, we would definitely want them to have their own services. So I wanna do medical. I think we'll do them kind of near the amusement park too since amusement parks um, tend to have their own emergency services like this. And then just because I know um, death waves in this game are pretty serious, we're gonna go ahead and do a crematorium even though in real life you wouldn't have to uh, have a crematorium on an island like this one. There's like a crematorium just over there. And so now let's figure out what we're going to do for zoning. So one of the things you got to be mindful of with doing residential is um, the noise with doing leisure or tourism. So I think what we'll do is we're going to do this as one little district and we need to still be mindful of where we're going to do parking too. I think we'll um, have to get rid of one of these roads somewhere and do um, maybe the underground parking. I think that could be good. And so I think we will probably end it like right about there and then we're going to make these their own own districts so I do want to do self-sufficient housing and then we're gonna come up over here and do the same thing we're going to turn this in to its own district and then go like that perfect I think this is gonna be great and so we will come in here and I only want leisure to be on that front side yeah there we go and then we are going to paint a separate district on this back side because I want regular commercial to be back there I think that'll be pretty good and so we do need to figure out parking I kind of got ahead of myself there and so let's go in here you know we could do parking over here and then do access to the other side i wonder if we can fit any of these underground ones now they're pretty tight we would definitely need some parking over here though i think we're just gonna have to do some of the smaller lots and then we'll do um larger off-site parking okay and so i got some parking lots in so now we have at least a little bit of access i definitely think we're gonna have to do some parking garages over here because this parking is um kind of sad but better than nothing and so now let's jump in here and figure out what we're gonna do for zoning so i think we will do low density commercial right there we'll come up here do the same thing could even do little small ones in here i think we're just gonna do concrete on this side i think that'll look good so then we will come in here fill these in as well and then we'll do the same thing here fill these in and then i do want there to be some some high density commercials we'll go like that and then we're gonna fill this in with high density as well we do need to be mindful of traffic though so we're gonna have to really be careful here and so for over here what I would like to do is a mix so we're gonna come in here do high density commercial and then we will do residential over here Come up over here fill this in and these are all going to be kind of small because um, of the space I, I wonder actually if we can just get rid of zoning off the two off of the one unit road and get better zoning up here and so we'll come back in here fill all these in fantastic and let's go ahead and fill these in too just because we can so we'll go like that and i think we'll even follow that same lead over here though i really do kind of like the little shops in here i think this is going to be great so maybe we won't um, but i think over here could be good so we'll jump back into zoning adjuster if i can find it yeah there you go and we'll go ahead and remove zoning up there and we'll do the same thing here remove zoning yeah voila and then let's come in here go like that and then let's go ahead and let Let's see if we're gonna have any issues. So we really don't have a lot of access over here. And I was looking over at this road and I think it would be great if we could have some sort of branch off that met up with this road. We just can't really have it be a big bridge. So I think if we grab the picker mod, grab this road. Let's go ahead and look at that. So how bad does that look near the airport? Oh, you know what? That's way far away. That would be good enough. And the best part about it is it provides some much needed access over here. So I do want to jump into node controller and just increase this offset a little bit. Um, because this is a highway road, I would want it to be kind of smooth. And then I think over here, I'll jump into node controller and go to, or not node controller, uh, network multi-tool and just create slope. Nice. Now we have some much needed access over here. Let's go ahead and increase this too. We'll go like that. Perfect. And you know what? It definitely kind of ruins the vibe a little bit of the islands, but I think it's going to be much needed access. So I was kind of hoping to have it be more of a swooping turn, but I think it's good. And it looks like people are already using it. And so we're really going to create some much needed access over here. And so now let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do with this area. So I think we will create another road in here. Let's go ahead. All right. So I think what we're going to do is jump into a one unit road while we're waiting for our lovely amusement park to level up. We're going to come out here and we're going to do that nice little road that we did on that other side. And perfect. Nice. And so we'll connect that up. And then I think what we'll do is create an access point down here. So we'll come down here, connect that up, and then we will create a little bit of a plaza. And let's go down here, connect up this to our lovely key wall, go like that, and then do the same thing on this side. Perfect. I think that looks fantastic. 
Um, and then I think we will come down here and connect this up as well. And then I do want to do that separation over here as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this road and follow it all the way around. And there we go. I think that looks pretty good. I do want to create a couple connections in here. We definitely are going to be have to be mindful of traffic for this. But the good thing is that we're not going to put zoning off of our arterial. So this main road is going to have great access. And so I am going to connect up a couple little tram roads in here too, just to create that tram accessibility. And voila, I think that looks fantastic. And I even did a tram only road right here. So we could do a little bit of a tram stop. But I think this is already looking pretty good. We got buildings coming in. We got some commercial coming in over here, which is fantastic. I really like the amount of space we have so i think we may um put back in some zoning oh look at that metropolis fifty thousand. wow i didn't even realize we were that close so we unlocked the regular airport and the cargo airport which um i don't know if we're going to really use any of those but geez i didn't realize we were creeping up on fifty thousand. our city is getting big this is really I feel like we just started Canalville, but we're already almost 20 episodes in. But I think it's, you know, we still got a lot to go. Um, let's go ahead and check on our amusement park and see where it's at. Okay, so total visitors until next round. We got zero visitors. Why are we getting zero visitors? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let the game run for a while, um, build out these buildings, and then hopefully hit our next level. We um, weren't connected to the road, and so um, it wasn't getting any visitors. I think we've only gotten like two visitors. Yeah, two visitors so far. And so what I'm hoping is if I let it run it'll um start attracting more people because i think if we jump in here yeah more people are already starting to come not a lot but um definitely more than two and so it should be a little better yeah it looks like people are walking in now yeah that's great and so um yeah i'll be right back let's see uh, what happens okay so i let it run for a little while and i unfortunately had to move the entrance over just a bit it just wasn't reading correctly and so we are almost up on our level two we're still about yeah like 90 visitors away and so one thing that i did want to do is hook up our tram lines because I was kind of looking at this and a lot of people are walking all the way down so this green is people walking or biking and so this green is people walking and they're literally walking all the way from over here and so it's kind of like I was just looking at it like maybe we should hook up our tram lines and so I think that's what we're going to do we're going to jump in here go to tram lines and we are going to grab this little guy and let's grab this station. And you know what? I think we may, no, you know what? I'd rather it be the same line. So we're gonna come down here and we are going to go like this. Perfect. And so we will create a couple more stops off of this. Go like this, go like this. And you know what? I think that's probably good for overall transportation line because I do want there to be their own lines for over here. So I want this to go like right there. And then I'm gonna have this loop all the way around. And there we go. So I basically added in a line going this way and then they can always transfer lines right here if they wish to go into the city. And so let's go ahead and jump into our tram lines now and see what we're working with. So it was tram line one that is going to be the transport line going all the way down now. So it looks like it gave it 19 trams, which is actually quite a bit, but it is a really big tram line. What I'm hoping is that it's going to help people to uh, stop walking because that's just a really long walk and it takes a little too long. And so let's go ahead and jump down here and see if anybody's using it so far. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but it definitely should start being used. Um, let's see if anybody's coming over here. So it looks like, I mean, right now it's going to take a minute for them to update. Um, it does look like people are already walking from that tram line. So that's fantastic. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and zone in this area now. So I think we will, it looks like we, we got about four squares of zoning off of the main road, which is fantastic. I do want to put in a couple plazas in here to kind of, you know, just create a nice space for people so i think we will go like right there and then i think we will go right there and then we already have services down here and they should have adequate coverage but i do want to get a school over here so i think we're just going to plop them down this is going to be more of like an inner city school and so they're not going to really have um any fields or anything like that though i think we may put a couple ball fields next to our high school since uh, high school sports is pretty important so maybe we'll go like that and we'll go like this let's go ahead and fill all this in now and there we go so now we should have some awesome little availability i do want to create a little tram stop right here though so we have tram line going this way we don't have any tram like depots or hubs over here. I think this would be a great location for one. So I think maybe if we grab our little one way road, ooh, let's grab the other one actually, because then we can create a little bit of a square about with this. So we'll grab that, we'll grab that, have this go down, have this go up, and then we can grab our tram road. And so we will, ooh, it looks like that tram line's gonna have a hard time making it over here. So I think we'll just do one tram line that goes from here over to this area and then loops back with minimal stops, but then we'll have another one that goes around this island. 
and then this tram hub will help to service this area as well just a little baby one um, but I think I'm going to separate them just a little bit so that I can create some nice space in the middle too it's kind of funny I don't even know if we need three we may be able to just get away with two but we'll say that the city is trying to future proof themselves with three and so we'll keep it at that for right now let's go ahead and create a line we're gonna have this go all the way around this area and these are one way so I can't have them go the opposite direction and then we will have one cut up here all right so now we can come up here and just loop it around i actually think we will come down here and then loop it around yeah there we go and then we'll have one come this way as well and so now we have some nice coverage we'll add in these stops once the zoo and all this starts to develop um i'm not entirely sure what we're going to do in this area i was hoping to get that cargo terminal and an industrial area but we'll kind of see as we expand out because I think um, for right now, those are still a little ways away. So these should start building out. It looks like our demand for residential has um, pretty much collapsed. But let's check this now. I'm hoping that our visitors now, yeah, we're almost there. It should be any second now. Let's check our policies while we're at it. So let's go ahead and make this our main park. Let's do even more fun and celebrate. And we'll, you know, we'll do recycle garbage too and night tours. And you know what? I think that's probably good. So celebrate is for them to do fireworks every night. Night tours, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Um, even more more fun so amusement park buildings are maintained super well causing them to be even more fun than normal which is great and then uh, recycle garbage Ooh, so it's uh, nature reserves only for some reason I, I always forget that and so while we're at it let's go ahead and fill in this little space right here Ooh, it looks like it's not gonna allow me and it looks like our trams are starting to back up here too we'll have to check and see how many trams those gave us because sometimes it just gives you an obnoxious amount of trams when it's just not necessary so let's go ahead and change these colors now we'll go blue we'll go white we'll go red and then let's do orange yeah there we go so we have our blue line up here it got eight vehicles so 19 that's our big one this is our original one that goes down to the secondary islands over there the three islands so then this is our newest one it just goes through here and around oh look at that nice Rotating teacups and piggy train. Fantastic. Um, we're going to let these fill out and then see if we still have any tram issues. Let's go ahead and place down our piggy train and our rotating teacups. So we have these lovely ones. They're kind of small too. I wonder. So I think if we do another little space over here, this would be nice. Let's jump into, let's lower our speed down and let's jump into our little path. And we are going to go like right here, go like there and go like that. Yeah, I think that's perfect. You know, we could even extend it a little bit further. Let's go out like right there and let's push this one out just as far as it'll allow us. Nice. I think that looks great. And so let's jump in here now and see if those teacups will fit. I'm pretty sure they will. Yeah, look at that. I think that looks great. And so let's um, go ahead and put a souvenir shop right next to it and then the bathroom. Yeah, there we go. Even though it is kind of close to this, um, we can imagine that maybe these are a decent walk from each other. And so I do want to clean up this a little bit, though. So I think we're going to tuck that in, bring this out a little bit so that we can get some trees in the back. I think that could look great. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks great. And so I do want to mirror it on this other side real quick. And there we go. And so let's look at that piggy train now, because I think that's a small one, too. Yeah, it is. Look at that. So I think we can actually fit the restaurant in here. So we'll do that, which is our lovely little kitty ride. And then let's see about placing the restaurant right there. Nice. I think this is looking pretty spiffy. I like it. And so I'm going to increase, bring this out a little bit further so that we can get some trees back there. And then let's see how far we got till the next unlock. This might end up being a couple episode thing for us to hit all uh, all the unlocks. But we got, we've reached our entertainment levels, 928 out of 500. So that's great. And let's go ahead and check and see if this is getting any visitors. So multiple problems, no police, no fire. Ooh, so I don't think we have that connected to a road. So let's go ahead and cook, hook up our key wall slash boardwalk to a road. We'll go like that and we'll go like this because I don't think anybody has access back here. So I think we will go like this and we'll do the same thing over here. Go like that. And then I'm just going to clean this up real quick. And there we go. And so now this should have access. Let's see if we're getting anybody back here. So let's go like that. Yeah, so look, perfect. We're getting people now, which is great. Um, Cause that's really one of the big draws for this area too, is this lovely Ferris wheel. And it should have garbage and police coverage here soon too. Um, it does look like we forgot to do a water spawn here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and then drop this in here. We'll pause real quick. And then we'll go like right there. Perfect. 
So now we'll have water in our lovely center and this area is already looking so good. Let's go ahead and bump up that speed. All right, so I think for this little island, what we can do is add in a plaza as well. It looks like we're having a little bit of um, issues with land value. And so I think if we come in here, let's do the small one. Yeah, if we go like right there, I'm gonna demolish some buildings, but I think it's gonna add a nice little look for this area. Yeah, I think this looks great. Um, but these buildings are doing pretty good. They definitely, um, they're not leveling up all the way though. Oh man, this one's already leveled up great um because we are going to come back through and do detailing and then um do concrete around the outside and then kind of fill it all in um i think we're definitely going to have to wait for this and so i think what we'll do is we'll jump into a detailing time lapse and then hopefully by the time we're done we will uh, have a little more to show and so i'm going to go ahead and get that done Okay, and there we go. So I think this looks great. And sadly enough, our uh, amusement park still hasn't leveled up. So I think um, we're definitely on the next episode, which I think I'm going to release another one tomorrow. We will work on the rest of this and start working on our zoo since we're probably going to be in the same uh, kind of scenario. So one of the biggest problems with this amusement park is that it's so far away from everybody. It's definitely at the edge of the city. And so as we expand out this area more, this amusement park will become a little bit bigger and it'll become more of a destination for people, especially as we expand out more, because um, I want to try to get all the rides in and we might even need to extend out our pier a little bit. But I think this looks great so far. I really like the look of this. I um, decided not to do detailing on it because I'm not really sure what we're going to do with these spaces yet. And so I decided to just fill in the rest of these islands. Um, I'm not sure what to do with that island. Go ahead and let me know if you guys have any suggestions. I decided to do these liquid amber trees along the key walls. And then I did some more bike paths. I was kind of having some issues with them. You can kind of see a little bit of tearing here. Um, and then I just did the regular bridges across since they allow biking and walking. And then I decided to do a bridge going across our channel as well, because this is a highway, there's uh, no walking access. And so I was like, man, you know, this would definitely have some sort of walking bridge as well. And it's definitely big and it's meandering, but it uh, is getting well utilized. And so I think this is going to really help out this area a lot. I also hooked up our uh, ferry lines. That was something that I'd forgotten to do. 
I went ahead and just grabbed this line that was already going around this section of the city and then created a stop. But then I also created a stop going from here to there, all the way up in here and then down to here and then turns around and comes back so that anybody who's maybe living over here that works within this area or whatever, they can get over to the amusement park pretty easily. And so what I'm hoping is that this will uh, boost up our tourism quite a bit. Yeah, it looks like it's getting pretty busy. All right, and so I think this looks pretty good. Our ferry lines are getting some pretty good use. Um, I think our trams are doing great too. I really like how we did this. I'm excited to see what we have going on here. Um, let me know if you guys think we should extend this out or maybe do another one of these holes. Um, and then we will start working on the zoo tomorrow and then we'll do another huge residential area over here. But I want to get some sort of unique building in here, maybe like the Expo Center or something fun, since this will be more of like a retreat tourism kind of residential area, more like maybe you own a vacation home or something. Um, and so let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you on Friday.